Come on, buddy. Come on. Come. What is that? What is it? Go here. Go here. Go here. What is up, my fine cat mojo tears? It is I, your cat daddy, Jackson Galaxy. Hope everyone's doing well today. Um, hope that, you know, we have been spending a lot more time with our cats in general over the past year or so, and I hope that you're making great use of that time. So today's scoop is about a very popular toy that I get a lot of questions about. What is that toy? We, we, we do that. The laser pointer. We're gonna talk about the laser pointer today because it is actually a bit controversial. People who love playing with their cats and dogs with the laser pointer just swear by it. They think their, their animals love it. There are others who point out some dangers and some frustrations, etc. So it is very, it feels actually very binary when you're looking at comments and videos, etc. So the scoop is about what works in my life, what I've observed over the years, hard-won wisdom that I'm now passing on to you so you can avoid the kind of ridiculousness that I had to put up with and then I had to be like, why is this happening? And then I figured it out and then I was like, oh, I gotta tell other people about this, man, because I don't want this to happen to anybody else. When I say this, I mean destruction and hangriness and just, just nuttiness in my house. And it's times like right now we got seven cats, man. Mm-hmm. So here's the thing about laser pointers right here, is that I would say that in my experience, it's a 50-50, maybe, maybe 70-30, uh, that cats who just go crazy for it, or at the very least are really intrigued by it. Believe me, I've got cats and dogs in my, in my home who will drop everything they're doing, including food out of their mouth, to go after that damn thing. Is it actually a toy? When I say to you, go play with your cat, no, I don't consider it a toy unto itself. It is a very frustrating thing for a predator, right? So this predator is going, oh, that thing, whatever that thing is, it looks good. And then they just freak out trying to get it. And yes, we are wearing them down, but we're wearing them down without ever having the ability to finish the cycle. Hunt, catch, kill, eat, right? Now, when we see cats go with wands with feathers on them, they will run, they will catch, they'll wrestle with it a little bit, they'll put it in their mouth, they'll do all the things that nature has told them to do. Laser doesn't do that. I think it's a really frustrating and borderline mean thing to do, to just do the laser for a while and then just call it a day which is why I tell you to always, if you want to do with a laser, great, then transition over to something more concrete. Not concrete. Feather works really well, but concrete will just tire you out and break teeth. <laughs> Anyhow. I tend to break them down into like, you got cats who are like sports cars, right? That you break out that feather, that's like turning the key, boom, they're gone, right? Then you got some who you just gotta crank the motor a little bit, a little Model T action here. You just gotta get that crank going in order to get them really activated into playing. And a lot of us have found that the laser's a shortcut, just a vroom, right? So that's okay, vroom, off you go. Once the laser gives you the, the ignition and the cat's moving, great. Then transition after a little while. Now you're getting that run, run tired. You're also transitioning to prey tired, where you're you know, sneaking something around corners, where you're flying in the air, you're keeping it away a little bit, but then letting them get it. Complete the cycle. That's how I like to use a laser pointer. Another thing that I like to use the laser pointer for is when I've got a cat who is just getting fixated on another cat. If it's just a matter of stalking, like this cat over here, well, he's my favorite little squeaky toy and I'm going after him because this is gonna be fun. All I gotta do is take this, it's in my pocket, which is one of the great things about laser pointers, point it where he can see it and lead him away. And then again, transition him to something else, whether it's some treats, whether it's more play because he's telling you he needs it. All these things have worked really, really well for me over the years. I mean, can you imagine how much better it is if you see your cat stalking another cat, you can get them away with this as opposed to yelling at them, as opposed to throwing a pillow instead of throwing a fit or whatever it is, trying to scare them away. This is great because there's never a moment of damaging, you know, it's all about leading. I just love that. So yeah, for me, lasers hold that purpose. Redirection, quick engine starting, that kind of thing. I have seen bad things happen if I don't follow through. 
If I leave my cat hanging at an 11, you know, this cat goes up to 11. These go to 11. You know? <laughs> He's going to go cause havoc someplace else. He's, he's going to knock stuff off the shelves. He's going to bug the other cats or the dogs. He's going to swing from the chandeliers to some degree or another. And I'm going to get what? I'm going to get frustrated. I'm going to get angry because this is happening to me now, right? These are all bad things. I can just happen from this thing, just from this one little thing. Finish the cycle. That's all I got to say, man, Be, because I don't want the blowback where you're like, well, Jackson said the laser's fine. Boop, boop. No, no. I know you like it. No, go. One other concern that I have heard is that this will damage your cat's eyes if, it, if they look at it. This is not conclusive, but these things are incredibly low intensity lights. If it just passes by your cat's eyes, from whatever I could find in my experience, again, disclaimer, no damage whatsoever. If a cat actually stares at it for a while and you, for some reason, are letting them, then there's, yeah, there's always a possibility that, that something can go wrong. But in terms of just trying to lead your cat from one place to another, and as you go by, they happen to, you know, get, look at it, it, it's not, again, in my experience, it's not gonna do anything. That's the only other concern I hear about. It's bad for them to look at it, and it's also frustrating. The frustrating thing, check for me. The other thing, not so check for me. Like I said, I, I really do think that there are upsides to the lasers. Just remember, it's like somebody offering you a single potato chip. What? You say a single potato chip? What? What? You say? You say? You say? You say? You say? You say? Like that just made me really sad. That just made me really sad. A single potato chip. <laughs> like a little tear almost happened there. I need a little more than that. Or one half a spoonful of the best ice cream you ever had. I'm a little hungry, which is why I'm doing this right now. I just realized I'm a little hungry. You, that would be really not fun for you. So when I pull out this toy and then I make the sound, that's game on for my cats. Three cats come running immediately. So now let's say that I was to go, da -da -dum -da -dum, this is fun, aren't we having fun, guys? Oh, I gotta take a call. All of a sudden you got those three cats who are like, well, let's now make stuff happen in this house, you know? Let's go torment a dog. Let's go chew up something. You know what I mean? And then we go, why, why are you doing this to me? That's it. When we know that nothing turns a cat on more than connecting with their raw cat, connecting with the predator, and we see so many positive things come out of it, just remember, if you start play, Finish it. Like I said, any toy that works, let it work for you, man. And that includes the laser pointer. Just remember to be responsible about it. And this is hard earned wisdom here because when I first started using the laser pointer, I fell into every trap that I'm telling you about. So that's it, my mojo tears. Uh, a little bit of just, uh, you know, POV about the LED. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Ooh he did it. God, I'm just, must've been all that potato chip talk. Let me know what you guys think about your experiences with lasers, well, the good and the bad. And that's what, you know, I always love having conversations about this. That's why I wanted you guys to know what I screw up. And just in case you guys were wondering about this fine piece of apparel that I'm wearing, which says, I support cats and TNR and fostering and adoption and saving lives in that order. And the badasses who make it happen. I just think that's a great message to be walking around with. And you can be walking around with it too. Just go to this link over here, which is the Cat Camp store where all of this apparel lives. Catcamp.com and you will find the store. All right, you guys, uh, that's it for today. Don't forget to stay safe out there and, and really just show love uh, this week. It's just so important, not just the animals in your life, but find some humans too, because we all need it right about now, don't we? I agree. And uh, that's it for me. All light and all love and all mojo to you. Go get it. Go get it.